What's going on, guys? It's Akon here. Welcome to the final episode of the Among Us lore videos. Um, so, thank you if you've seen the rest. You know, this is going to be the last one of this um, three-part series that I made uh, regarding the Among Us lore. So, uh, in the previous video, we kind of took a closer look at the uh, crewmates and their telekinetic powers. And in the first one, we took a close look at kind of the organization behind the colonization of, uh, like, Polis. Um, so, in this video, um, we're going to take a closer look at the imposters. Uh, in this scenario, we're going to, you know, assume that the imposters may actually have been the good guys. Now, why could the crewmates be the bad guys? Well, I'll tell you that, um, so back on Polis, um, the crewmates were researching the parasite, um, in the specimen room, you can find, you know, aliens and containers, and there's broken glass in the lab, and the parasite, they just want to save their species, so the crewmates were actually experimenting on uh, the shape-shifting parasite that the imposter is. So, taking a close look, um, kind of going to Myra, which is the base HQ, they hired the crew. Um, to split tasks on Polis in order to gain more information. Now, taking a look at the map of scale, there's a med bay scan. Uh, so this gives information uh, regarding whether someone is an imposter or a crewmate. Now, what is odd is that all of the crewmates are actually the same. Um, I mean, most of their information is the same. Now, why wouldn't the imposter Scan. The reason for this is that Skeld is actually the imposter ship. Now, another reason I can say this is because of the vents. Now, the imposter it is his sh or their ship because they are able to use the vents, and the imposter knows of these vents. Now, why wouldn't the crewmates want to get their task done quicker if it was their ship and they could use the vents to go? you know, and like teleport from the map. That is, you know, one reason why this is the imposter ship. Um, another reason would be sabotage. So the crewmates are actually sabotaging the uh, ship. Uh, an example, this is with the wiring. They are car hijacking the ship. Uh, the imposter wouldn't want to change how their ship is currently running because their ship should already be running well enough i mean if it's still flying um so another big reason is the remote that the captain or the imposter has uh which allows the imposter to close doors because it is their ship uh looking at my rage q my rage q has food on it and the ship doesn't therefore we can just assume that myra uh is the whole planet uh so myra was very Polluted. Uh, we can kind of tell from the greenhouse uh, that provides the O2, and this also kind of explains why the crewmates still wear suits. Um, taking a look at pictures seen on the wall in Myra, there uh, shows previous crews, uh, which kind of goes back to a previous video I made that just explains that the game of Among Us is in a loop. Um, so once one crew goes through this kind of situation, another crew does, and that's how this game can just keep on going. Uh, so another uh, look at the imposters being the good guys is looking at the waiting room on Polis, with that being the crewmate ship. Now that ship is not the same as skill, therefore the crewmates use that ship from Polis to get onto the imposter ship. Um, and then they have the task to take it over. So, kind of a quick summary. So, Polis is the home of the imposter, uh, and the crewmates landed on it with their ship. The imposter, uh, see, having been experimented on, escapes on their ship, and they go up to space, and then the crewmates kind of follow, and they board the imposter's ship, and then the imposter goes back to my rage HQ, and that's where the final map takes place. Um, so, the crewmates on uh, Skeld find out, or rather on Polis find out that one of their 
um, treatments that has been taken and that they have been taken over by an imposter. So, um, again, quick little summary. One crew wins. They go to Skeld, one of the many flagships. Skeld beats them to Myra uh, with a, another imposter on board. Uh, and then they search for the home of the imposters, which leads them back to Polis. So this is where, um, that, that's just another little uh, kind of arrangement of events. Um, so, and this also goes in the order that the maps actually came out. Uh, to form this story. So, one more time, just to um, kind of get that point across of <clears throat> using what the developers probably assumed uh, we would kind of follow with. So, there's a crew, and they went. Uh, and this is on Skeld, which is one of the many flagships that Myra HQ owns. Then, Skeld beats the crew, um, or another uh, crew to Myra, where there is a, another uh, imposter. Uh, with the completion of finding that imposter, they choose to go find the homeworld of the imposters, which is Polis, and that's how we get to Polis. All right, well, that is the last of the um, videos regarding the Among Us lore. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, if you guys like these videos, to hit that like button, and to, um, you know, subscribe because it, it does help and it makes me want to continue making videos. So, thank you.